Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Sunday. I hope everybody had a wonderful week. I am excited. I just, I hope you enjoyed Friday's video. I loved, loved how those coasters turned out. Um, I will be doing them again. I think my next one will be red. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I know I said I will not be doing any shopping hauls this month because I had to buy this brand new camera which is actually quite amazing. I never noticed the um, quality difference until I was watching it on the TV the other night and I went, oh my goodness. So this one, someone asked, is a Sony ZV-1 in Canada or ZV-1. Um, it's amazing, love it, it's, it's foolproof. So anyways, with that being said, I do have one thing to show you because I've been wanting this since Christmas. Um, it finally came and I'm excited. I bought myself. <gasps> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I bought a stand. And I reason why I wanted this stand was so I can organize all of my um, molds, my silicone molds you shouldn't be stacking them so this was sherry's thoughts so here's my molds i've got them all laid out and i i'm just so amazed i bought 10 of these trays because i knew i wasn't going to use 20 and craziness these were at costco for 5.99 and i just went on amazon they're 29 dollars ridiculous so i left three of them I may go back and buy more, but I left three of them so that when I'm doing a set of coasters, I can use this tray, put it down, do my coaster, pick it up, put it over here, and then I can do something else. So I'm very excited. Um, Monday, I'm getting the cover because Costco didn't have the cover in stock. So the cover's coming on Monday. So I'm excited. It's kind of neat. To s I'm not spending my money on um, litters, but it's like, products that I've been wanting to get so that's exciting so that's my little my little haul um, now I've got a question this is gonna be for probably next week's video I did this video I think it was 116 and I was just so devastated because I lost everything when I did a Dutch pour when I blew it all out it was all out to like here like you can see, but everything sunk back in. So I figured I'm gonna show you how to bling up a pour that wouldn't normally be nice if you, you know, so we're gonna put a coat of resin on this and then I'm gonna bling it up in a different way than we normally would do. So this is probably gonna be next week's video. So I was wanted to show you that. Um, yeah, so today's video, we're gonna do something different. I have, um, gonna do it on a what is this one 20 by 24 inch I'm going to normally I go like this I'm gonna go and do almost like a ziggy zag pattern I've never done that before so with that and I don't know what colors I'm gonna use so I'm gonna prep my canvas which just means tape and I organized yesterday because I I um was set up my stand so I my table is clean I've got my canvases reorganized because you know how you bring stuff in it just gets thrown in so I'm reorganized again so I've got all my push pins in here so I'm gonna use my tape my push pins and I will see you guys when I'm all ready I'll be back in a minute hello we are back my canvas is all prepped take that off I had to make sure I could see I just got my um, dollar store tape and my push pins and we're good to go so I have decided we're gonna do something a little different I'm gonna put my I've taken these four colors these are what we're gonna use these are those amazing paints that I've used in the last couple of them they are Modern Masters Metallic Paint Collection. And these are all the same brand. So this one is Pewter. 
this one is amethyst I'm excited it's one we never tried yet this one is rose gold rose gold yeah rose gold and another one we never tried this one is green apple so I have my paints mixed up with a little bit of this liquid X acrylic medium this is um, basically a blending medium that you can put in so it extends your drying time so you have time to um, play around and blend it nice so this is what I've done I've got it in here I thought I'd mix the last one with you guys I just did a, I don't know just a pea size in there and this paint went a long way the last time so I'm gonna try and take off all these sticks find somewhere to put them and again I said the canvas is a 10 sorry a 20 by 24 inch this one is just your artist loft level one just kind of what I had kicking around so I'm gonna set my sticks over here get everything out of the way I am using my nice big brush that I like to use it is a bought it from Michaels and when you do go don't forget to use those coupons guys because sometimes you can save quite a bit with them yes so the brush I'm using is it is a Royal and Lang nickel jumbo R795 firm and it's a 60. I like this brush so a little bit of water in a bucket just to just gonna wet it just a little bit just to get it so that my brush is not dry and I'm going to brush off all that so I was thinking I'm gonna do my stripes this way so with that being said I'm trying to figure out which way half would be so do I just I'm gonna go corner to corner and I think I might start with um, the purple the purple here we go no turning back now my friends such a pretty I like these paints like I said they're a little pricey but they go a long way and don't forget to get your sides as you're going and that way you're, it's the same colors everyone's water oh my goodness my glasses are doing really good I have never ever 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 out of my 45 years of wearing glasses had to get used to a pair of glasses this is, I just found that so strange but it worked I'm I'm good just to let you know if you were worried about that it took me a good week. So I want to make sure there's enough on there before I start bringing in the next color. So I think I might do the rose gold and then the green and then the silver. I think that's what I'm going to do. So you don't need to wash the brush out in between. Just bring it in and start going I would try to go heavy I'll do one side first I don't want it to get too and again don't forget the side as you're going but you want to get that solid part first that nice 
nice base down. And again, this end down here. And this one, you can kind of put it any which way you want. I think it'll be pretty. Here we go. We're going to blend. And that blending medium works better when you actually put it in the paint. as opposed to what I was doing in the other one where I decided to just put it on the canvas, which was kind of silly. Ah, oh, there we go. That's pretty. Hey, love it. Now the other side. And it's nice because you get the same, oh, most of it went off. You get that, um, I like this brush because one brush stroke is pretty good with this, the width of my canvases that I've been using. And again, you want to make sure there's a good solid base on there and bring your colors up so that they're matching on the sides. Purple themed week. My coasters were purple too. I wasn't even thinking of that. All right, here we go. And blend. I might actually, let me just get a piece of paper towel. Might wipe a little bit of this off because I don't want to really lose all that purple. So I'm just going to just take off the excess that's on my brush and that way I can blend the edge here. Oh, it's such a difference with putting it in the paint. There we go. I might wipe it again. Just make sure my sides are good. Perfect. I'm loving it. I want to go down the center once, but I don't want to take the purple out. Okay. I said green. And here we go, my friends. Oh, this green is so pretty. Green. Green with Enbay. Now some of these are opaque and some of these are, let me see, semi-opaque, opaque, yeah. So some of them you might need to put a little thicker coat on it. Maybe I'll have room to put a purple on the end. I think that might be what I'm going to do. Get the sides. Get this side. I'm hoping I can't really see, but I'm hoping I'm getting it. You guys are probably hollering at me, telling me I'm missing some. I want to make sure the... I'll have to touch that up the bottom with my hand. All right, maybe a little more because you can still see through a bit. All right, here we go. And when you're blending, remember, do not, do you see how I'm just going this way and this way? Don't turn your brush like this, because then you're gonna get your paint totally different. You want to stick with the color on the one side. I might try and bring a little more of the green up into the, the pink. Rose gold, I guess it is, eh? And then 
bring it out. Oh, that is so pretty. And I might need to put a little more green on there. I don't know. This is um, this is semi opaque. I just wanted to make sure because right there I was losing the color on the end. So you want to take your brush and go lightly and that. Perfect. Now we're going to do this side. Oh, the pretty colors. Very regal. All right. Try and use up what I got here. You don't want to waste. Waste not, want not, right? And again, like I said, these ones are expensive. I think they were, I want to say they were anywhere from 12 to $15 for that little jug. But you've seen one coat, right? And it's oh, amazing colors. It's like anything in life, right? You get what you pay for. If you go cheap, you get cheap, right? Well, some things. Some things I don't mind spending a little less. All right, here we go. We're going to blend. Blend. Blend in. and make sure perfect oh, amazing okay I'm gonna brush off a little bit of that paint we're gonna go into the silver the pewter I think that's good what we're gonna do I, we're gonna have an end with um, the purple and I have enough That'll be pretty. Okay, here we go. I'm going to brush off a little bit of the excess so we can blend it a little better. Perfect. Make sure my sides are good. Oh, I gotta fix this here down here. And I keep going weird because I'm not used to going this way, right? So all these little things you gotta get to think of when you're doing stuff. Alright. Other side. And again, if I have extra, I'm just going to paint another canvas like I did, whoops, like I did over here. I'm with the blue one. I have a 12, 14 inch over here. So what I might do is do, do a video with, um, with the leftover stuff. This one is semi-opaque as well, so you have to make sure. All right, here we go. Wash off a little bit of that excess, and we're going to blend. You want to get nice strokes so you don't have... Oops, I turned it the wrong way. Okay. Let's get this. I'm goofing up the other one. There we go. Perfect. And then we're going to end it. Make sure my ends are good. We're going to end it in purple. Shoot. Let me just uh, patch up the end here. I'm not too worried about that because I'm going to. I'm hoping there's gray there there before I switch my brush and back into the purple this is actually quite pretty I like this a 
Oh, that's kind of cool. All four corners are purple. All right, let's just get my edging. Bucket of water there. I'm going to go against the grain just so I can get that corner properly. Okay, and I'm going to... Here, let me... I have to move my bucket of water. Sorry, guys. And we're going to just kind of go like this so that the grains are all going the right way. Wipe a little bit... Whoop! A little bit of that purple, actually. I touch up there where I missed. There you go. And we're gonna blend. Perfect. And down this side. And then we're gonna let this dry. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna get our bling on. The best part of Sunday bling is getting the bling on, right? Hope you all have a nice cup of coffee, a little bit of a tea. There we go. And I'm going to go again this way just so I can get that color perfect so to speak. All right, here we go, my friends. Blend away. Actually, let me just get this going the right way. All right. All right, just get the streaks out. keep my lines keep going the wrong way I want to keep the lines going the right way perfect that is done I'm done I'm not gonna play anymore so I'm gonna wipe off the excess because you do not want to ruin these nice brushes you want to put it in some water clean it right away if you can because like I said you spend the money on the brush and you want to make sure that it's um, you're gonna keep it right so there we go. Look at that color. Oh, amazing. All right, here we go. And I'm going to let this dry. And I might come back. Oh, I put it in the water already. Um, yeah, we're going to let it dry. And then we're going to come back and we'll I'll go through all my colors that we're going to use with um, the glitters and the gloss. I'll see you guys when it's dry. Hello, we are back. We are all dry. I took another canvas and painted what's left over. So I'm gonna do something with that probably. But back to the one at hand. I'm excited. I love the color. Um, I'm just gonna remove all this. I was trying, I was looking at the colors to see if they matched. So in my brain, sometimes it's, it's scary when you get in there with me, but in my brain, I wanna hang it this way. I want to do um, my glitter and glass horizontally this way, but I want to do it in a, a zigzag instead of straight across. So that's what is in my brain. So I'm going to hold it this way so it's easier for me to do. I want to make sure I get all the glitter stuff off. So with that being said, I have my um triart liquid glass i will link that in the description box i have it in a squeeze bottle and you can use resin you can also use mod podge i just prefer to use this because i like how it works but you're more than welcome to use it i have two videos 
I'll, sh I'll link them also of me using Mod Podge and me also using the resin. So with that, I am going to show you what we're going to use. So I have my Ashland Decorative Filler. This one is the silver. I get those at Michael's. I have some um, Lemon Lime Glass from Laura's Art Corner. I'm excited to try that. I can't figure out where, if you can see it. Can you see it in there? My monitor's all goofy at the moment. So I'm gonna put that, cause I think it would look pretty with that. And I'm just using, cause I don't really have a green of that sort. So I'm just using a dollar store green glitter. And I have my Martha Stewart stuff. I'm using the Martha Stewart um, confetti glitter, silver bling. It's empty almost guys. I am also going to use, these are Martha Stewart's. These are, this one is um, Chariot. Am I saying it right? And it is a fine glitter. And then these two are chunky. Martha Stewart chunky glitters. Um, it is also the Chariot and Alvaline. Like greeny and the purple. Chunky. So, we are on our way. It's always the nervous part is just to start. So I'm going to just do a line of kind of where I want it to go. And then I will jig out from there. So we're going to go at the corner. We're going to start at the top. And I think we're going to go like this. I've never done it zigzagged. So, wish me luck. I'm excited, but excited and scared all at the same time. You know how that is, people. So I'm just going to widen this using my squirt bottle. Exaggerate where the ends are this might not turn out I'm just so used to doing it the other way it's all about trying new things I'm just going to turn it a little bit so I can get a better grip on this and I love love putting this stuff in the squirt bottle I'm just holding it on an angle just so I can kind of see if I want to put more, like bring it up a little more here. And it fix this a little bit down this way. Yeah. Kind of happy with that. I think that's about it. Maybe I'll make this a little more jig jagged that makes any sense. Bring this one down a little bit and jig jag this a little bit. I like that. Okay, let's just thicken this up a little bit here. Is that my friends? Oh, excited. All right. What I might do is just, there's a couple little holes here. I'm just gonna patch it together there so they're not holes there. And look at that, a dot. Get that off there. All right. So, I'm going to go with this glass first, 
the Martha Stewart. Or, sorry, this is the Ashland Decorative Filler from Michaels. This one's actually really fine compared to what it normally is. And you can wear gloves, my friends. I, like I said, I'm just, I don't, I like the feel of it in my hand so I know what I'm doing. You have a little more control. I may have to go get the rest of these paint colors. Next month, I spent my monthly budget with my... <laughs> I spent this month's budget and next month's budget with my camera. So, oh, I have to play with what I've got, which is fine. I could probably play for years with what I got because that's kind of crazy. Yeah, so I'm just going through. want to make sure you get a nice even coat. You don't want more in one spot than another unless that's what you're going for. This has the silver or the white on the back because this is actual mirror and that's why one side is very shiny and the other side is not. So if you want to take the time and flip each and every one of them over then that is your prerogative. You can do that. I'm just, I'm lazy. I'm sorry. That must be said. Alrighty, so that's my Ashland decorative filler. I'm coming back in with some of Laura's Art Corner. Now these are actual glass shards, so I will be a little bit careful with these because I've not used this before. And I'm just coming on top of This with, I'm just going to bring a little bit. See, now this one actually will cut you, so be careful, guys. It just stuck in my finger. And I don't want to do it in a spoon or whatever because then you end up dumping more than what you want. I'm a rebel. I'll take the chance and get cut. Too funny I am sometimes. There we go, a little bit more down there. Perfect. Mm -hmm. that. Now I'm going to do the chunky green. It is called the oval ovaline. And here we go. And you really want to make sure that this is all covered. I'm not going too heavy with it because we've still got three more glitters to go, right? I'll decide if we want to come back and do a little more. So that's that one. We'll come, whoops, come back with the chunky um, chart chariot. C H. Yeah. Anyways, the purple chunky glitter, Martha Stewart. And come up high and try and do an even shake. I find if you come up higher, when it falls, it, it's not as a big, if you accidentally have a little bit more come out. There we go. Now I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna alternate. Now I'm gonna do the fine green from the dollar store. Again, up high. Hoping it comes out all right. 
You never know with these shakers that you get. And I like to go past where I'm going. And again, all of the shake off is going to go in a container. I never waste it. Some people think I just throw it out. I don't. That's why I put it upside down on my puppy pad upside down. There's the green. I'm probably going to come back with more glass because I see a lot. We'll do some fine purple. Start down here. Do I want to do? Well, we'll do, Martha. We'll do a little bit of this bling. Up high. Give it a shot. You know. I just want to make sure the tips are covered. And I'm going to probably come back with some more glass just because... I see the liquid glass in between, so I want to make sure. So I'm just going to load it on, and if it, if it, um, it's more the edging down here that I'm seeing that I want covered properly. And if it, uh, it doesn't adhere, that's fine. But at least there's something there that might. want empty space. I'd rather have it just caked on there than have, because then it's just like a shiny, clear shiny blob that you see. And again, I have oodles of this stuff, so I feel bad because that green stuff would have been so nice. I even pulled it out again. I didn't actually throw it out. I still have it here, that green glass I, I have, but it still smells. I washed it like five times. So anyway, that's that. So I think we're good. I just wanna make, like I said, I just wanna make sure it's all covered. Keep seeing like little blank spots there. We, well, that's a piece of crap. Well, there you go. I am gonna let that dry and I will see you guys in about four hours and we'll brush it off. I'm excited. I love the colors. I love how it turned out. I'll see you guys in a bit. It turned off on me. I don't know what happened, but anyways, so there we go. I would hang it this way because I think it's kind of cool. You could also hang it this way, which is cool. I'm just going to try and scrape off what's there. So I am going to put you on pause. I'm going to take you down and I will put it on my screen and I'll show you what it looks like. I'll be right back. There. So it's up there. I think that looks kind of cool that way. And then you can also put it, uh, if I can get it hooked under there. And then there's this way. I think it's actually quite cool. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed your Sunday bling bling. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, please, please do subscribe. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, give it a share. If you hit the bell and notifications, we'll let you know when I make my next video. And yeah, don't forget in the description box, I'll have a link to Laura's Art Corner and you can use my discount code, which is all capital letters, Sherry Molten Art, 10% and get 10% off your order. Also in the description box is the link to my Facebook page. Would love to see your art. I love looking at other people's arts and yeah. I also have my PayPal link in there if you want to give a little donation. 
And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Have a wonderful Sunday.